Hello ladies. So today I'm going to be doing a highlight and contour tutorial using my brand new blending buds that I got from Unique and I'm super excited to try them um, or play with them. I played a little bit yesterday and um, so I'm just going to show you how to use these little goodies here right, that I have. They're super soft. <laughs> um, the two colors I'm going to be using to highlight and contour is going to be Scarlet which is a super light color. It's way lighter than my normal skin. And then Charmeuse, which is a really dark and it's way darker than my normal skin tone. So for highlighting and contouring, you really want to do at least three shades darker and three shades lighter. Um, highlighting, you kind of, you know, highlighting, you want to think of it as a heart. And you want to highlight the areas where you want to look brighter, more awake, um, vibrant, that draws attention to you, like your eyes. And then contouring, you want to focus on the outer, outer spots of your face and then your cheekbones and that's to make things look smaller, more defined. So a great way of thinking of it, which I loved and I'm um, taking from um, Candy Johnson who is one of my favorite people to follow, is she always thinks about is if you wear dark jeans it makes your butt and your thighs and stuff look smaller, but if you wear white jeans it makes them look bigger, brighter, more vibrant. So just think of it that way. So you want to think of things making um, things Thinner, like the jawbone, the cheekbone, more defined, like the Kim Kardashian look, you're going to contour those. So I'm going to kind of go over a generic highlight and contour for every face. And then if you want to be specific to your face shape, you, there's so many tutorials out there um, on Facebook or Pinterest and things like that that you can find. So definitely, you know, if you want to get more involved, you can definitely find that. So I'm going to start with Charmeuse, which is my dark color cream touch foundation. I'm just going to take my concealer brush and get it loaded up here. And then I'm going to just start up here in the corners of my forehead. Kind of in my hairline there. Bring it down here. And then you kind of want to go so if you take your brush and you kind of feel where your cheekbone is and kind of sets in, that's where you want to do the contour and then you kind of want to go up a little bit. Not too much, but just bring it up a little bit. And then you just do it on the other side and bring it across. If you have a big forehead um, or you think you have a big forehead, you want to contour up here to make it appear smaller. I almost said thinner. Bring it down here. And then again on your cheekbone. And again, it doesn't have to be super, super perfect um, because you're going to blend it all in. So, And then you can bring it on your jawline if you want to help disguise the double chin, make your face look more svelte. And then bring it down your neck so you can blend it all in. And bring it up to your ear a little bit. And then for the nose, you're going to put it right down here. It's going to make a make your nose, you know, up here thinner or smaller and then if you kind of want like the Marilyn Monroe like a button nose you can do a V here and then under your lip and that kind of makes your lip um, appear a little bit more plump um, do a little bit on your chin if you want. So that's kind of the basics of contouring. Like I said, there's no rhyme or reason. Um, you just kind of want to put it on there. It doesn't have to be pretty. 
because you're going to blend it all in anyway. So it may look a little funny, but then we're going to go over with our light color, our really light color, this is Scarlet. And you can use the blending buds for application if you want, and you're just gonna kinda fill in this area here. And down the nose. And then the Cupid's bow. If you don't have blending buds, you can take another brush. It's not a problem. And you can, right here, you're gonna make a V, sort of like a triangle under your eye, and it's gonna make your eyes pop and look bright and awake. Get rid of those dark circles if you, that's what you're looking for. So. can hear that in the background. That's my son playing with Tupperware because that's his favorite thing to do out of all the toys he has. Because, you know, that's what kids do. And you're going to come down here on the chin. Down here. So there you go. Do you think it already makes my face kind of more thinned out, I guess, or more defined, maybe. Um, kind of interesting look, obviously, but don't worry, that'll all change. Once we blend it, and again, you can use the blending bed if you want to apply your lighter color or any of the colors instead. If you want to get crazy, you can take your normal foundation, what you wear on a daily basis, and kind of put some in between what you've highlighted and what you've contoured. Again, you don't have to. Just a little extra step that will blend. So, now that we've got everything sort of applied, and here comes the fun part, we're gonna take our blending bud and we're just gonna kinda basically dab, as you're gonna dab into the hairline. You don't wanna bring the dark into, too much into the light because you still want that contrast. But you wanna blend it together. I'm sort of just dabbing it with dabbing with a little bit of motion to to blend but again you don't want to mix the colors too much within each other because you still want that contrast but you don't want lines of course so I'm just kind of moving it up and down with dabbing it to blend it Bring it down. Always want to blend that. Put a little bit on your ears if you want. Ears, always make sure you get your hairline. my eyes there you go so you still see the definition here from the dark color 
So you don't have to wear blush if you don't want to because the contour kind of acts like a blush. You still see the brightness here to highlight and you still see the highlight underneath the eye and above the eye. So you're drawing that attention to your eye. So you just want to make sure that everything looks pretty blended. And then the last step you want to do is seal with a powder. And anytime you put foundation on, you really kind of want to seal with a powder, just so you take away that shininess of it. You don't want a lot. I'm not using the powder pad. I'm just going to use my concealer brush. And I'm just going to put a little bit over. Again, you don't want to cover up any of that contouring that you've done. You just kind of want to even everything out. And then set it all in one place. And then if you want, you can add blush if you want. But when you smile, you're going to see that contour. And I know my lighting's not that great. So it's hard to kind of see. But then you can see the contour here. You can put, you know, blush on the apple of your cheeks. Um, that does work if you want to do like sort of a younger look. Um, but you don't have to if you have the contour here. That kind of just accentuates your cheeks. So the Cupid's bow, by putting it right here, um, you're kind of making that lip appear like bigger. And then down here with the dark, you're making this looks smaller so your lip looks more plump so just some fun little techniques you can you can use when you're doing highlighting contouring and like I said there's so much that you can do based on your face shape if you really want to get in detail and um, really make it like the Kim Kardashian look so this is just a quick little YouTube tutorial of how I am using my blending buds and how if you get some at anywhere you can you can find them all over the place um, and how you use them. So if you didn't have blending buds, you can just use a brush and just kind of, you know, mix it all in and do that if you don't have the blending buds. So I hope this was helpful. I, I enjoyed it and I still love learning all about, um, highlighting contouring myself. So enjoy and have a great day.